Hello and welcome to another exciting adventure in the Sky Zone Let's Play. Uh, this is King Korhor here and I'm hoping that you have enjoyed my videos so far. Um, what I'm going to be doing right now is um, trying to work on our cobblestone generator. Uh, I, I want to go plant that. that oak tree real quick before we get going on this so that we have lots and lots of wood um, so one of the things that uh, we're going to try to get accomplished here is to do what's called a water ladder uh, it's really not all that complicated uh, you want to make sure that you keep all your resources you know I, you know I take just the bare minimum of what you need or if you lose it all it's not that big of a deal because uh, what we're going to do right now is to carefully fall down in hopefully a controlled manner because This, this is what's called the water ladder, where you just let the water fall down. And this is a common way that you can use to uh, try to travel down uh, when you have uh, no easy way to get down. Uh, this does not work in the nether, which we will get to that when the time comes. But we want to drop down a few blocks here because I want to whoa and as you can tell this is why <laughs> you just carry along the briefest of amount of resources that seems to happen to me quite a bit when I'm doing this don't take anything that you don't mind losing. You know, pickaxes, we can make a ton of them now, so that's not the end of the world. I'm not deliberately trying to die here. That just is what's happening. So, what we're going to try to do here, rather, if, as long as we... Okay, <laughs> what I'm going to try to do is to make it so that we don't die here. And build a real quick, quick little platform. So and now we're actually underneath it. And there's several reasons why we want to do this. Uh, we may end up digging down a little bit more. Uh, build on to another another level. We'll we'll see how that goes. So that is how you build down in Skyblock. And, and on the sky zone here. This gets to be a little tricky because, yeah, you are building on the edge. Uh, but it uh, also allows you to... Well, uh, basically, that's why it's called a water elevator because it allows you to go up and down. Now water tends to do some funny little things if I uh, if a block shows up and sometimes as as can be seen there
what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to do two things. One, I'm going to try to reset the water blocks underneath. And we also want to go get some torches to light up everything down below. It's a good thing I left my torches up here. I was going to bring a couple down. Certainly don't want to take all of them. So now we're going to try to go back down again. Oops, not so fast. Okay, so what I did there is I just reset the, the water block, so now it's just falling down through that one hole. Uh, and then, just to be on the safe side, because mobs will spawn down here, uh, if you're not careful, it's got, we're going to throw in a couple torches. Uh, and we now have the elevator that we can still go up and down with. Um, so, let's just expand this out just ever so slightly. We're going to definitely be putting a whole bunch on this level. This is where I intend to make the uh, this is this is going to be the farm level here. So, and well, like like farm farm as in this is the level where we're going to be uh, growing things like the you know wheat farm and our melon farm and stuff like that. Uh, and this is also where we're going to ha install a cobblestone generator. Now, just so that we can, I don't know, there's a couple of different ways we can go about this now, is we can try to build either a ladder, um, or a stairway, and I'm still well, it's, I think we're going to go do a stairway, make it a big grand staircase going up and down between these levels. So that just means we've got to get a bunch more cobblestone. So, uh, let's head back up. Let's go see what we can do that way. Because... Going up this, these water elevators just is really slow. That's why I want to do something else. There's actually a few other systems that we can do, especially once we get some iron. Uh, we can get a whole bunch more stuff. Uh, no big deal. We got lots and lots of cobblestone. Ah. Uh, so, what I intend to do here after we build the stairway is to start construction on our uh, cobblestone generator. Uh, this design that I'm going to be uh, showing you is. Uh, something that I've actually made myself. I don't recall I've ever seen anything like this particular design. I've seen a lot of different cobblestone uh, generator designs before. Um, it's very loosely derived from a generator design uh, by Munch Gamer. Uh, he actually doesn't do very many uh, Minecraft videos anymore. Uh, he's kind of into Team Fortress and a bunch of other things, but uh, he did make a bunch of uh, Skyblock videos a while back, and I, I really enjoyed them. Uh, in fact, I wish he would do it again. Uh, but he, he had a really uh, nice uh, cobblestone generator. 
uh, that uh, you know you didn't have to stoop down and do all kinds of fancy stuff. It just uh, you know it was a cobblestone generator you could walk up to and stand inside, and it would just and it would generate a lot. However, I noticed that there, even with his design, there were some uh, inefficiencies with it. So I went and I adapted his initial design and, and totally redid it and made it my own. Anyways, uh, this stairway looks like it's going to take a while for me to get up there. I'll when when I got the stairway up to the top and meeting up with that island, then I'll uh, be back. Okay, I'm back. I got the stairway built now. It's not really all that fancy. We'll, I'm going to add some actual cobblestone steps to it and do some other things to make it fancy. But we now have a way to get up and down uh, from our main platform uh, where our, co our current cobblestone generator is and uh, as well as off to the other island and uh, down down to the area below and as a result uh, this is just a temporary measure I uh, may end up doing something more to it but I'm going to go stop up that water and also come down here and stop that up as well uh, now the next thing that I want to do here before we get started on the cobble generator proper is I want to extend out um, this is probably going to be just a temporary platform but I want to go and build a collection area here underneath our all our, all our dirt and the reason for this is because I want to move that dirt and start putting it in some other places and because this cobblestone generator is also going to be pretty big um, you know I well, in fact, by the time you see it, when I'm all through through with the cobble generator, you're going to say, "Holy cow, that thing is is enormous!" and it, and it's and it uses a lot of cobblestone to make it. Um, So, anyways, be back in a bit when I got this platform all built out. Okay, what I did is I took this um, platform here and I extended it out so that it covered completely underneath all the dirt with ample room to spare all the way around. Now, before I start taking the dirt out, there's one final thing that I want to do here. And, oops, wrong chest. Um, I want to pull out this existing dirt. I probably should have done this beforehand. Um, but what we want to do is we're going to start a tree farm off in this direction. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take most of the dirt from down below as we gather it. I'm going to put it up here and we're going to build off towards the sand island over there. Uh, because, because we want to hang on to uh, this grass. So, actually, let's get rid of these saplings. We've got plenty of wood right now. And in fact, let's take out... Well, I'll have to do that off camera. There's That's a big tree. It would be fun to show how to how to take out a big tree, but I'll, I'll have plenty of chance to do that. Um, in the meantime, ooh, I think we'll be safe.
there's a total of 80 blocks of dirt here. Oh, crap. Okay. Nice little lava blade there. Yeah, I forgot about that. Mm. Well, we'll survive this. <laughs> That's one of the fun things that you got to do and take care of. So what I'm first striving for here is just to take out all this bottom layer of dirt. Uh, we will have to do something to kind of clean up our old cobblestone generator up there. Um, although, you know, we may, we're, we're really just kind of overhauling the whole thing anyways. Um, I don't, this, this is kind of a fun thing to always deal with when, uh, making plans because this is a piece of bedrock. In fact, the only piece of bedrock you'll find anywhere. Um, it really, what it signifies is, um, your, your spawn point origin. Because that's that is where you spawn is is on this location, uh, and it was a part of the original uh, skyblock map, so I threw it in here anyways. Uh, because it's bedrock, it cannot be removed uh, with a pickaxe or anything, so you you pretty much have to build around it. Um, doing something like incorporating it directly into your island design. <laughs> So, anyways, as you can see, we got some grass to grow, which is awesome. Because my objective here is to is to have a, a grassy area so that we can start spawning some uh, passive animals like cows and sheep and pigs and stuff like that um, and one common mistake that I have seen done over and over again uh, with people playing on maps like this is they take out all the grass at this point that I'm at right now and kind of the progress of the game and they, they, they take out all the all the grass and in the process of doing that Uh, they have no grass left. And so they have to cheat it in or do something else that's really nasty. Uh, because dirt is so precious, um, I like to have kind of a foundation of cobblestone underneath any dirt that I place in my worlds. Uh, now this is kind of a personal preference. Uh, not everybody has to do this, but it's something I like to do. Because that way all you have to do is just come along, you dig it out, and you can move the dirt around and go do something else with it. Um, so, So it allows you to move things around and be able to do all kinds of really fun things. Um, uh, I 
I don't accidentally slip and fall through the hole. Anyways, I this one piece of dirt here is probably going to be a little trickier. Um, okay, so we're we're in good shape. So let's go ahead and collect up all these blocks of dirt here and not try to fall through all the way. Ah, oh. and I'll clean up the platform up above when we get to it. Um, so like I said, there's a total of 80 blocks of dirt here. And you don't want to lose a single one if you can help it. So what I'm going to do right now Replace the cobblestone here because I still want to keep this platform at least at this level where we first started. Um, we we can do some other fancier things with it here in a while. I'm just mainly parking the dirt here because I want to be able to I want to encourage this grassy area to develop. And I've found that if you spread out the grass or the dirt like this, the grass seems to spread faster. Um, all, all you really need is just one of these and it'll spread out, but uh, I want to be able to grab all of it. Well, I want to go ahead and turn it all into 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 grass at some point, but I also don't want to have it here at this particular level. So I'm going to take the block of dirt out from under the tree. Ah, uh, here. Actually, let me go do something fancy there. Oh. <laughs> Let me do that from up above. Trying to use dirt as a building block, which uh, you can. We're also going to replace all this. Um, Okay, come on. Okay. Okay, so we're we're in a lot better shape now. Whoops. Yeah. Oh well. So now that we've taken care of all that, let's collect up the rest of our dirt here. Um, so uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and just start throwing snow. Well, where's... Oh. I think I'll do that for now. That lights it up enough down here so that we can survive. But... Um, One more piece of dirt to go, and, whoops, there we go. So I have pulled out all of the dirt that was originally there. Uh, yet at the same time, we should have plenty of grass. Um, and the grassy area is going to be spreading out. I uh, just... Like I said, that's just to park it. There we go. And I'm, my hope is that eventually all this is going to turn into grass instead of just dirt. So, and it looks like it's doing a pretty fine job of it there, too. So we actually got more grass blocks than we had to start with. And I uh, will, like I said, I'll eventually take that tree out. Um, so now, let's start on our cobblestone generator. Because um, what we're, the next stop along all this that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take the water and the lava that's kind of dripping out here and we're going to uh, turn that into something very useful. Okay, lava comes down there and oh. This is just doing some pathing here. Because what I want to do, I'll show you underneath. We're going to have this little spot here where the lava comes down. We'll eventually take out all these blocks of cobblestone here. Uh, that is going to be the, the lava source. I'm not even going to bother moving that block of lava. We're just going to extend it down here. Uh, so we're going to have the lava fall all the way down now, eh, somewhat up here. We'll, we'll, you'll, you'll see with the design. Um, for now, I'm going to expand this platform that I'm currently standing on. Uh, you know, expand it out and uh, get it ready so that we can start laying down the pieces of the cobblestone. We'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've really expanded this out quite a bit. In fact, I'm looking at the time, and I th think uh, we're not going to have time to actually build a cobblestone generator. That's going to have to be another episode. But what I am going to do um, is take down this this middle platform that we built out for the uh, for taking out the dirt. That's okay. Uh, and it's fine that we've got to put this into another episode because there's a whole lot to this that's happening. So anyways, um, starting on the next episode, this whole platform is going to be gone and uh, we should be uh, laying the foundations for the actual cobblestone generator. Uh, okay, and as you can see down here, this really, you might think, holy cow, that's a huge area for a cobblestone generator. Well, it is a, it is a big one that I'm, I'm making, so it's, there's, there is a method to my madness. And, and I'll be honest, one of the things that I like to do in, and sky blocky or you know with the sky zone here uh, these 
worlds like this is I, I like to build big. No, you don't have to. But we got the space. That's not the problem. It's just a matter of getting the resources to do it. And so it just means a lot of cobblestone, a lot of grinding, and a lot of stuff that just you know, boring to some people, and that's okay. Uh, actually, that's one of the cool things about this cobblestone generator, which stay tuned for where it's going to go. Um, and until then, ciao.